Girl, Jennifer said, girl, y'all ain't dropping me, honey. I'm gonna take a leave of absence, okay? Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black neck on. Basketball wise season, hopefully the last one. Girl, let's get into it. Basketball wise season 20. 20 goddamn it <laughs> cuz y'all been on so goddamn long basketball wise reunion honey girl they gave their ass one more reunion they said girl the budget is too we ain't got enough y'all ain't got enough tea y'all ain't got enough information for us to be carrying on for no part two and three I don't know what y'all think this is but this is not a Mona Scott Mona Mini um, type of production Jennifer says she can't show up girl them hoes was trying to throw tables and shit at her like she was at Chuck E. Cheese and a bitch had told her that they didn't um they can't find her son cake or her daughter's cake girl like she mad as hell um, uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, girl, so much to talk about. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, let's start with the fashions real quick. Girl, somebody said that Malaysia looked like some damn, <laughs> they said she looked like some Holiday Inn. <laughs> Fucking confidence set. Oh my gosh, that shit was so damn funny. I did not like Malaysia's, Malaysia's outfit. Um, what's our girl name? I can't think of it with the plastic ass wig. Damn it, what's her name? I can't think. I'm gonna call her Roxy Roxanne because her wigs look like they about to rock and sock them, bop them. Like she had, what is her name? Jackie Christie in that crusty ass wig. It looked like you about to serve some crusty crab goddamn um, burgers off that motherfucker. Who else? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Miss OG, I like her. I'm gonna tell y'all, I like OG. Um, um, that uh, summer she had, she was tight as hell. She like she couldn't breathe, bitch. I didn't know she was about to be um, going as Brie Larson um, from damn, what is it, Captain Marvel or some shit. Really, did somebody from uh, Marvel make this damn outfit for her? But I'm living for the drags. Shawnee look fake as hell, but she always does. She's cute. Um, Cruella de Tammy, girl. <laughs> Tammy ass was looking like Tammy ass with that damn shit. Like, she let me see you bounce right to left and let your shoulders lean, Bob lean. Tammy Tammy looked like something. She looked cruel to be like she was looking for some Dalmatians or maybe a cracker or something. This reunion was boring as hell. Y'all had this suit and tire, um, I can't think of his name up here hosting. He was trying to do whatever he could with the little tea he had. OG held it down. OG immediately dragging the girls and let them know what it is. Girl, Miss Kristen try her ass, gather her. Malaysia try her ass, gather her. Said, girl, how you gonna tell me what I can't wear? Now, let me tell y'all something. Malaysia, that's how I know y'all ass have, y'all don't have y'all ear to the streets, y'all not paying attention, y'all too busy posting damn pictures and shit. Now, Malaysia, how the fuck you gonna come, bitch? You might as well be uh, a ghost in the shell, bitch, because none of them damn body parts are yours. Like, girl, like, sis, like, let's just, like, Malaysia, there is nothing real about you. You're not even Malaysia rimming real wigs. Like, girl, your teeth look like big ass motherfucking MacBooks, okay? <laughs> girl, and I bet you brush your teeth with a MacBook charger. Like, cut this shit out. Y'all were trying to tell, like, OG how her breasts gonna look. Now, I know I've made fun, and because I know I dragged the shit out of Reese's breasts um, several years ago, but we are learning, like, sis, these are our body, and these are how they are made, and bitch, these hoes gonna sag. These are real, bitch. Like, now her wig was crusty, and that shit looked like some eczema on top of her head. Now, Malaysia had her with that. She said, but your wig is in the car, and that shit took me out. But for Malaysia to body shame her, and then Malaysia couldn't even catch her, she said, I'm pro woman. What the fuck does that mean? Like, you sound like these dumbass white folks talking about something. Oh, why well, have a black friend? You know, I'm not racist. No, girl, you just said some shit. You got called out for it. And the audience, this girl just showed up this damn season, and they agreeing with her. So, Malaysia, you took some, you took some serious, like, points for that because like girl that, that that shit was not cool and then you didn't catch it you didn't catch it like you did not know that that shit was like trash like you could have stayed on her wig and talked about her fashion stuff but the fact you said her like it's not the same Malaysia none of that shit on you is real matter of fact your damn name ain't even real what's your name Keisha no bottoms <laughs> But OG girl, you had me screaming. You were dragging the girls, honey. She dragged Miss Kristen. Miss Kristen couldn't get her words out. She said, but with that real OG stand up, where OG stood? She stood up. Like I'm saying, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, and I feel like, and some people don't want to admit it, okay? But I feel like a lot of people are not necessarily here for OG because she is a dark skinned, strong ass black woman. And I'm gonna say that y'all can take however y'all want to, but I think everybody does that. Malaysia fake as hell, how she speaks is uh, draining as fuck. Shawnee fake as hell, all these whole fake, like, but OG is the darkest woman on the damn show. And a lot of folks seem to not be here for her and picking on her. And I'm not gonna say, like, 
y'all like subconsciously we got to understand that sometimes we do shit and we don't realize we do it like we might give somebody less slack because if they are desirable we read them as attractive or beauty and we let them get away with some shit i talked about that on twitter not too long ago and definitely we'll be talking about this episode of for the culture podcast but um homegirl og is acting the same as all these folks. She's coming in. She's going to get this treatment and shit. She got to be able to stand for herself. Now, her wig was looking cocked up, and it was looking like some damn infected-ass toenail. But, girl, she got it together a little bit. But it's other folks that have been on there, and wigs have looked tired, too. And y'all ain't dragged them as much. But I think y'all are letting that girl have it because of that. Now, Jennifer, I knew your fake ass was going to come, girl. I'm glad that... They gave you all that work because you are fake as hell. You blocked me on Twitter because I told you you as fake as them color contacts in your damn eyes. There ain't nobody checking for you, girl. Ain't nobody watching these shows for you, Jennifer. Evelyn and Tammy getting into it over I don't even know, girl. I'm just going to jump everywhere with this shit. Tammy feels like that um, Evelyn and I here are selling these fake ass storylines. And Evelyn said, girl, well, at least I have a real storyline. You ain't saying shit. You trying to apply for these other shows and shit. And ain't nobody interested. True enough, Tammy, ain't nobody interested in your stories. Like, it's cute. We like when you fighting outside and all the type of shit. But we not going to follow you and your fine husband or whatever he is this week. We just generally don't care. And Evelyn, you can't talk too much shit because you were worth a little bit something when you were talking to that baseball player. But you ain't worth shit now. Ain't nobody interested in your story. You had a little show. It wasn't doing shit. I mean, you go see your mama in the damn crack house apartment she stayed in every once in a while. And it was cute. But ain't nobody interested in you long term. Um, Shawnee, you kind of fake as hell too because you knew somebody said some shit and you didn't even respond and tell the damn truth. You said, I can't remember or I can't kind of confirm or deny. I think Shawnee honestly needs to take a role outside of this, but I honestly hope this is the last season of Basketball Wise because this, these. It's just, y'all don't have anything to offer. Just recast, start over, call it something else. Because it's just not it. It's just not it. Like, all these folks ain't telling us shit that we already don't know. Kristen started pulling up receipts. Y'all remember, um, CC was mad about a lot of shit. I think that shit that she, that Evelyn said about CC was disrespectful. I'm not surprised that, um, Evelyn said something. I'm not surprised that she let them fat ass eyeballs start faking some, pr- pr- producing some fake ass silicone tears to make it seem like she felt bad. She posted some damn iOS, um, um press release. Talking about some, I would never do that, girl. You remember what you said? You was trying to call her Ling Ling. You was trying to be funny. You were trying to, you know, be prejudiced as fuck. And we see that, girl. We see that shit coming through your ass. CC gets called out because Kristen said, "Girl, I did tell you, you know, when the folks were talking about uh, love you long time and, and um, suck it, suck it, all that type of shit, girl. I told you that they were joking a little bit about it, and you didn't see it. So CC tried to act like she didn't know, but Kristen started putting up the receipts, girl. She started printing, printing them home. She said, "Girl, this is what it is." And while that's going on, child Miss Tammy trying to talk, and she just said, "You know." what thank you for my services give me my slides i'm gonna slide right on out of here i done did 30 45 minutes y'all can cut me a little check and i'm gone and mark lamont here don't know what to do he's like i got more questions but she ain't got no more answers for you who got all the answers where's way at the reunion didn't seem to have a like a mess if there was no i don't think we dived in deep i don't think it was really much to talk about because jennifer wasn't there um tammy was nobody was interested in being a part and doing the work the only person that was interested was shawnee like and shawnee didn't even know she's like where's jennifer jennifer asked it's not common and I, my girl my favorite crusty the crab wig jackie christie jackie crusty didn't have shit to say like jackie said girl you know what i am working on myself Apparently, she's on the opposite diet that Miss Heavenly is on because she's actually making sure she's on her spiritual journey. Now, Tammy did call out Evelyn. She said, girl, you was out here sending emails and stuff to these folks, to these to people I work with trying to get me out of the show. And Evelyn was like, well, I didn't want to come on the show. And, you know, this person didn't have no storyline. You know what you were doing, Evelyn. You know what you're doing. You were trying to use your shit like I come back. But y'all need to do something because y'all need to understand that I am the highest, like I'm the highest on it. And that shit didn't work. Like all y'all petty, when we had to start going into stuff like in contracts on, on a show and all that, that means we don't have a storyline. If we have to go back and talk about things in-house as far as like who gets paid the most and this and that, then that breaks the fourth wall. And I can I can only, I can now see that this shit is scripted and it's not real because Y'all ain't got no storyline. Y'all don't really have anything to say. And I just think at this point, it's a wrap for Basketball Wives. I mean, why are we still talking about this show? Why are we still watching it? It's not doing, like, I'm not even watching it. And the only thing I really lived for was, what's her name, dragging the entire shit out of, um, you know, who was she dragging? Malaysia. I lived for OG eating her ass up on that damn stage. That shit was everything to me. Now, shit gets even more petty when Tammy says, 
girl, you know, non embryo having ass, and Evan, like, oh, oh my gosh, why would you say that? Like, I have nine, I just have a four year old, and this and that. And then she said this, and then Tammy said, well, girl, you was joking about me having miscarriage, and that shit wasn't funny. Like, that's how we know the show is. Y'all didn't ran this course. Like, these are the jokes y'all are producing now about miscarriages and all this, like, hip. Like, it's just, it's not even worth it no more. It's not even worth it. Um, y'all had a cute couple of moments. Malaysia talking about bringing her whole family in the damn thing because her cousin dating this person, Big Booty Judy here. Don't know about to give a fuck. Y'all, like, we appreciate the cute messages, the cute PSAs, but don't know about to give a damn. We want the drama, we want the mess, we want to see. And we've seen enough. We know we can't produce any more fake drama with these women because they don't have anything else to offer. Like, it's just too bougie. It's just too much. And I'm glad that Evelyn, um, you know, and Tammy had their little spat and said, girl, we ain't talking to them. I'm good. Because I ain't trying to, maybe we can walk, watch 15, 20 years from now and say, where are they now? Maybe y'all can be working at Subway or some shit. Maybe we'll see E-Fresh because these reads y'all gave us was very dry and I was not paying $5 for them hoes. Not even $2. Okay, bitch, I'm mad I even paid my cable bill on time to even watch this silly ass reunion. But Mark Lamont here, um, you need to go back to writing books and talking about white supremacy on CNN and all the other shit. Leave the host and shit is, um, to somebody else. Now, I do think it's very funny that out of all the queer language y'all use and lingo, Kiki, this and that, doing all that, but y'all don't have a queer person to host none of these damn reunions and shit. Girl, y'all so garbage. And it don't have to be me. I would, if I offered or asked, I would be, but it's it's really kind of silly that y'all don't have any queer people on any of these shows other than bitches carrying motherfucking purses and doing makeup and wigs. Garbage as fuck. That's all I got. Tell me y'all thought about this Basketball Wives reunion. Do y'all think this shit should be renewed? Should we need another season? Or should we just recast? Or should we just call that shit what it is and throw that whole right in the garbage? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye. ¿Qué estás escribiendo? La Mickey Minaj. Pues sí, Rami. ¿Qué dice? Mickey Minaj.